Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, I'm gonna go over updated for 2024, the Whisper mission. This is a super fun mission, one of my favorite missions of all time. For those of you who are either new lights or newer to the game, this will be a good intro into how the mission works. I am cutting out a few things, you'll notice some small edits. If there are things where I'm cutting away to change something in my inventory, or I mean, there's a jump I didn't do and I died, I'm gonna cut all that out so that, especially for you new Guardians, if you've never played this mission before, you'll be able to instantly know what are the things you need to do to get through this mission. And again, if you like this video, if it provides value to you, feel free to like the video, subscribe my channel, jump my Discord, please do that if possible. So that really, really helps me out. For those of you who are a little bit more veteran to the game, I, I will tell you not a lot has changed. There's some small, little, tiny changes. You might wanna watch the whole video, but if you have done the mission before, I would primarily skip to the boss section because that's the area that's changed the most in this encounter. So here, obviously you have a lot of jumping. And again, you'll see some minor cuts out where I've, you know, either I've died or there might be occasions where, you know, I switched out maybe on my hunter, I switched out to my stompies. Again, you guys don't need to see all that noise. I don't want to make the video that much longer. Obviously, as you go through this, you're going to notice obviously a lot of interesting jumps. And you know, here you have these little things that will knock you off if you're not careful. You can also get this a little quicker if you're using strand or sword or something like that. But the big thing here is you'll notice most of the jumps have, you'll see these things almost like point to the next location you have to go to. So just keep doing that. Keep doing these jumps. Again, for those of you who are new to jumping puzzles, obviously there are some more difficult ones in the game right now, but this one is quite a doozy if you're not used to you doing jumping puzzles within activities. So we're going to go here. These little things over here, you have to kind of be careful because you'll have to look. You see that? That comes out at a certain intervals. You'll be able to see there'll be a little crack in, in, in it that you can actually see that the next like slab is going to slide out. See right there? See the same thing? So we're just going to wait for that to go by and you can see the next one. And I'm going to kind of jump and go around here and then I'm through it. One thing that's changed here is there's this little thing you can shoot here. This will actually pop out a platform that makes it easier to do these jumps. This isn't mandatory, but it's something you can do. And again, just continuing to jump, taking your time. You know, one of the things that's great about this mission now is it's 40 minutes for those of you who are not familiar with it, right? And that'll make it really easy to get through. Now, on this one, right this elevator up, but you'll see where I'm looking up, there's a there's actually a little thing that will come out that will knock you out. You see that? That just went in. So you want to time it because that thing is kind of annoying if you're not careful so i'm going to go through here and again there's a little passageway and then this area here is not that bad it's not that tricky but if you're not careful as you're going through here these little platforms that come up they'll knock you over here to the left and that area to the left will kill you so just try to be careful again not too not too dangerous this area here You'll see the little boopers that you have to be careful about. So you're gonna have to time some of your jumps. Really easy on hunters because you can do multiple jumps. Eager Edge obviously will help out here. There's also snipers. You'll see them every once in a while kind of taking pot shots at me from behind. So doing things like uh, sniper resistance and, you know, will obviously help you here. And you can obviously stop and take the snipers out. But again, with the update sandbox, it's not too much of a threat. So not that much of a big deal. So can we go across here? Be careful about this one. If you don't time it correctly, you're going to want to get it when it's open like that because it will actually knock you backwards. Now, there is one big change here. So instead of normally on this one, the area that would allow you to get to the next area is in a little bit different position. In this case, just take this row and head all the way to the end. So again, I'm just pausing because I guess I'm tired or something. But again, just keep heading towards the end and then get to this last one, hop in there, just keep heading down. And then this next area, which I'm pausing for some reason, but in this next area, there's actually a little cheat here um, to get through here. If you turn around, go down here, you'll see your ghost light up, head down here, and go around basically it's a it's a cheat that will take out a considerably uh, good portion of the jumping puzzle otherwise so head over this area kind of hug the wall here 
get towards the end and you'll see a small nope, not down there look we don't want to die you'll see a small platform here and on this platform hey jess you see that down there just jump down here a lot of times with a hunter at least you can take a long jump then time it and i don't want to die head through here land go over here turn around head up to the left and at this point you're to the first sort of pv oriented portion of the encounter all right so again depending on your subclass depending on your running this isn't that bad really your goal here you don't even care about the blights you're really trying to wipe out all the ads and so here this is why i use and if you guys are from my channel i have a great solo build that really allows you to do this but i'm using my assassin's cow I'm using my combination blow times three and just wiping out all the ads. Not even using guns, to be honest with you. So here I go. I'm taking out all these snipers. And really the goal in this room or any of these rooms is just to kill all the ads. And I'm just letting this run because I want, again, for you guys that are really new, I want you to know exactly where you need to go and what ads you need to kill to kind of go to the next encounter. So you'll see as I'm continuing to kill the ads, more spawn. So again, you know, if you're solo, this is why I build like this really helps. Well, the fire team, this is probably not going to be too bad. In fact, later this evening when I did, when I'm recording this and after I did this run, um, I went with a fire team. It's, it's super simple. So again, a lot easier encounter than it was when we used to run this back in the day. Again, let's finish off the ads. Here's some more over here. And you'll see that little boop, that little effect, that tells me the next door is ready to be killed. So kill that, and again, more ads. So this room really trivialized, like I said, in the modern version of this. Like, you know, the modern sandbox, this stuff is just super, super easy. But again, for those of you don't have experience with, that's, that's super fun. All right, so now I'm gonna head in here. Same deal. I'm gonna go around. I am going to kill ads and I'm going to miss jumps, but hey, what's new about that? And again, I'm going to miss jumps. All right, so I'm going to take this dude out. Come here, die. I'm going to go on this edge and kill these ads. And again, really the, the goal here is kill all the ads, cleared all these snipers. Again, super, super easy. Kill all these yellow bars. And again, I'm not even worrying about the blights. Because while the blights can mess you up, they're really not that bad. And again, they're not required to finish this portion of the encounter. Hope oh, he's back down here. Wait, I'm using a weapon. That's a first. So I'm taking him out. Working him down. Oh, he teleported. Where'd he go? He's back for some reason. Gonna take him out. And again, you see that little disturbance? That means that I can move on to the next encounter. So I'm gonna take this, this uh, blight out, go in the door. Okay. And now I'm gonna go take all these dudes out, right? So again, with this build I have, it's super easy to do this solo. You know, again, don't even need weapons. Taking out all the scions. That can be super, super annoying. Keep working on them. There's some phalanxes up here, which I didn't get earlier. I'm gonna take those dudes out. Hey, don't put that shield up. I'm gonna take him out. And again, you need to get all the enemies, all the stupid, annoying scions. Again, like I said, this build makes it really super easy. All right, get him down. One reason I like Sunshot here, I didn't really go into loadouts, but again, it just depends on what you like to do. Obviously, sniper resistance, which I don't have when I'm taping this, really, really helps out. But one of the things I love about Sunshot is it doesn't have damage drop off. So even though it's a hand cannon, you can do it from further away. Got that, dude. I should be. Nope, nope. I missed one. So that's one of the things. You will know that you still have an ad up if for some reason, and that's not the ad, if for some reason you haven't killed all the ads. I'm just sitting here looking around. Still no 
Let's see, where is this dude at? He's not over here. Not back here. Oh, look at that, I missed a sniper. So I left this in the video just to show you. It can be easy if you're not paying attention because that dude wasn't even shooting at me. So there's no way I would have known he's there. All right, now I'm dropping down. One thing you'll notice is change. You see that area at the bottom? You used to be able to hide back here. They've taken that out. So that does make it a little bit more difficult. Now there is a new spot where you can camp it's just not as easy as it used to be. Because literally in the old encounter, you could just camp in the back, pull out your Polaris Lance, and then go to town, and, and you were done. Right? You, you can't do that now. So again, really, you're just trying to take all these bosses, these little enemies out. One by one. Alright, and then you'll see you get a rally flag. All right, go ahead and rally. And now you need to take these little dots, these little Vex pieces out right here. And this is how you get the boss to show up. And you take out certain of these, and obviously the one boss will show up. One thing later on in the encounter, um, you can actually, after you've taken the first boss out, or even before that, you can actually go in and get the other bosses to spawn by doing by shooting some of those Vex pieces right there. But again, Again, it depends. If you want to get through really quick, you could obviously get them all spot initially. Or if you're trying to do this for your first time, you might want to just limit how many of those you shoot until you take the first boss out. You can see it says taken boss zero of three. So I have a total of three that I need to take out. And right now I'm just trying to, to clear the field. I'm going to shoot this on this dude, right? Which I should have just left, but you see I shot that one and what happened immediately? Second boss shows up, right? So again, probably something I shouldn't have done. Um, again, I had died soon after that, but you can see I took one of the bosses out, right? So I have one of three. One thing I want to show you here is there's this nice hidey hole. So they're on each side of the arena. In the past, you had one in the back, which you don't have now. But these are really nice places, especially if you're trying to go solo or if you're struggling with this a little bit where you can go, you can still shoot things and it allows you to have a good amount of cover. So... I'm gonna like, you know, continue to work on these guys from a safe distance. Continue to work on them, continue to kill things, kind of work them down. Again, add clear is pretty important if you're trying to take out the boss because if you're trying to do this potentially solo or if you're trying to do this flawless, you don't want to be fighting the boss with a bunch of ads around, right? Now they will continue to respawn but when you're taking on the boss, you want to have as many of them as clear as possible. All right, now I'm going to put this out there to kind of finish them off. Because obviously, hey, I'm at the last boss. Good position. I'm done, all right? Wait a second. What's that? Oh, no. I got to take on another boss. Okay, so basically, this is a, a huge dude that's, like, shielded. And what you have to do, like many of the mechanics in Destiny, you can see you can't shoot him, is that you're going to need to take the... See over here, these wizards, who are keeping the shield on? Once you do that, it's typical mechanics. You need to work them down and do some level of DPS to them. So once you do that for a little bit of time, he's going to get shielded again. Once you do enough damage to him. And so what are you doing again? You're going in. And you're taking down the wizards again, and guess what you're doing? He's vulnerable again, right? Like, you haven't seen this mechanic a million times. But again, it is nice to see there's a little bit of variety. And in the second portion of it, you do have to deal with not only these annoying ads, but you have to deal with the blights. The blights you don't have to do anything with. But just deal with the ads best as you can, and then work this guy down. Like you say, he's getting slowly down. Obviously, I have ammo issues, because that is an issue with this encounter as it goes on. You do start running out of ammo. And then you're done. So then you've got your Whisper. You can craft it. You're all done. Again, hope you've enjoyed this. This is one of my favorite missions. I've always loved to Sherpa people through it. So I hope you liked the video. If you do, feel free to like and subscribe. Because, again, that really helps me out. Um, and, again, I will see you, Guardians, in the Tower.